Today we're going to build a butcher block countertop. So what exactly is a butcher block cutting board or countertop? It's basically a glorified cutting board. Typically it's a little thicker and you might see some seams in the middle of the board from smaller pieces that don't run the full length. Does that make sense? But beyond the cutting board, what exactly am I doing here? It all boils down to saying yes. I made a few cutting boards in the past and when I say a few, I'm using the literal use of the word few. That doesn't mean I can't make one or that I'm not good at making them. Small cutting boards just don't inspire me the way that other big pieces do. So when I was asked if I could make a butcher block countertop, my brain immediately started processing the small steps to create one and equated it to basically a much bigger cutting board. But the kind of bigger that to me was actually inspiring. Whenever I'm thinking about a new project, especially one that I've never tried before, I have to break the project down to its simplest parts and steps. I will ask myself the most basic questions to find a way to say yes to something that is new and challenging. For this piece, I took what I knew about cutting boards and applied it on a bigger scale. Can I cut wood into strips? Can I make all the strips square and uniform? Can I glue them together? Can I flatten them after the glue? And the list went on. When you're able to break down something big and complex into small, easy tasks, then it just becomes a matter of doing a little at a time to eventually have something new and big and made of that sweet, sexy walnut. Anyway, it's about saying yes. Now real quick with this project, why wouldn't I just leave these strips at their full lengths? I mean, that would be a whole lot easier to glue up, right? Right. What I wanted to do with this was to avoid having any knots or cracks or voids in the top of the cutting board. So wherever there was a knot or a crack or a void, I would cut that piece out and then join those small pieces together, making those little seams that you see so often in butcher block cutting boards and countertops. With every project I take on, I try to expand my skill set, especially if I've made it before. With this project, I took on figuring out the best way to glue up something so massive. Gluing up roughly 45 strips at once felt like I was just asking for trouble. So the easy fix was to break that up, and for me that was three sections that could then go through my planer after the glue up. The next tricky part to navigate was getting seamless joints in the middle of the board where the shorter pieces met. Again, small problems with simple solutions equal a yes, I can do that outcome. Pro tip with lessons learned in real time. After struggling through the first glue up with the small pieces falling between the clamps, I tried something new. I put some wax paper down so the board wouldn't stick to my assembly table and glued everything up using the tabletop surface as the flat reference instead of the clamps. And this made a huge difference. Also using a bigger brush to spread the glue out made the glue up go a lot quicker. So now you know. I've also learned that the best way to retain new information is to explain it to someone else. So all of these tips, they're really just for me. So what's the big deal about saying yes? Yes to something new pushes you out of your comfort zone. But why would anyone want to be uncomfortable? Often you'll find experiences and new skills just outside of your comfort zone. And I don't even mean way outside of your zone. Imagine your comfort zone has a fence. Everything in that fence is what you know and what you're comfortable with. There could be something amazing just outside that fence. And I mean just outside that fence, like leaning on that fence, where all you have to do is reach over or simply open the gate. Is building this countertop a life-changing event? In and of itself, not really. But it did show me I could create something that, frankly, I was a little nervous to take on. It was basically water on a small seed of thought that showed me I was capable of more than what I originally thought I was capable of. Awfully deep for a cutting board video, I know. But that's the thing. I already said this isn't about the cutting board. It's about saying yes to new opportunities and pushing yourself. If something seems overwhelming, especially if you haven't done it before, break it down to the smallest steps you can say yes to and execute on those steps. And also be careful with your clamps. They are easily angered and can be very unpredictable. Anyway, before you know it, you'll have a new skill or product or experience that you can look back on and be excited or proud of, or the knowledge that you don't want to do that again. Or if you do do it again, you're going to charge way more.
Either way, you'll have a great story. And isn't that what it's really all about? Like, hey guys, remember that time I almost lost my finger in the clamp? <laughs> right? So what exactly am I doing here? And this is kind of another pro tip. A heat gun can be used to soften up cured epoxy for easy scraping. And this beats planes, card scrapers, and excessive sanding every time for these small little spots. This was kind of overkill for these small little spaces and gaps, but it does the job nicely and it blends very well. So what's left? With a little edge detail, a simple idea that was met with a yes has now taken the form of a butcher block island countertop that I can feel proud of and inspired by. It added another brick of confidence to saying yes to whatever seemingly overwhelming project comes my way. Oh, but wait, wait, that finish. Oh yeah, that finish. That's the stuff. I hope you enjoyed my journey through this behemoth of a cutting board and maybe even feel a little encouraged to try something new. Maybe something like hitting the subscribe button and turning on notifications or even clicking on the thumbs up button. Or it could be something as simple as building a proper base for this countertop. 